let's create this professional slideshow in Filmora. To create a slideshow, I have imported 5 images into Filmora. I will select all of these images together and then I will place them on the timeline like this. Then I will go to the effects tab and here I will search for an effect called blur. Here is this blur effect. I will place this on the timeline on the second track that is above my images. Then I will drag its length so that it covers all the images. Now you will be able to see that all the images have been blurred out. Now I will again go to my media tab and here I will select all these images together and this time I will place them on the track number 3 like this. Now I will double click on the first image on the track number 3 and here under the transform tab I will decrease the value of scale for this image. I will decrease the value from 100 to 75. We only need to change the value in the X axis and the value in the Y axis will be automatically changed to 75. Then I will click on OK to close this panel. Now I will again go to effects and here in the film stock I will search for border. You will get to see multiple border options here but we will choose the second one which is white in color. I will drag and apply this on the first image. So my image will look something like this. Now. I will double click on this image, I will go to animation and here in the drop down I will choose preset motions. Then from here I will search for an animation called grow shrink. I will double click on this and it will be applied to my first image. Now I will click on ok to close this panel. And now I will right click on this first image, I will click on copy effects. Then I will select all these other images from this track. I will right click and click on paste effects. So the effect which I applied on the first image has now been applied on all the other images. As you can see border and the animations everything has been copied from first image to all the other images. Now I will go to the stock media and here in the film stock I will go to solid color tab. And here I will search for the solid black color. I will drag this color at the beginning of my slideshow. And I will also drag it at the end of my slideshow. You can place it in any of the tracks. I am placing it in track number 3. I am placing this black color at the beginning at end of the slideshow to make sure that the slideshow is smooth. It should not start and end abruptly. Now I will right click on this black color. I will go to duration and I will change the duration from 4 seconds to just 1 second. 1 second is more than enough. I will click on OK. I will do the same for the black color at the beginning as well. Right click, duration, change it from 4 to 1 second and then click on OK. Now as you can see this slideshow is roughly of near 20 seconds but if we want to change the duration of this slideshow we can do that. Select all these images together in all the tracks. Leave only this black layers unselected. Remaining all the images should be selected together. And then click on the duration tab here and change the duration accordingly. By default 4 seconds is the duration of each photo. I will change this to 3 seconds. And then I will click on OK. So my slideshow will now become around 15 seconds in length. Now I will go to the audio tab. And here I have multiple audios to choose from. Choose the one you like. I'm gonna choose this one and I will be placing this on the music track of our timeline which is on the lowest end here. I will split and delete the extra part of it. Now I will double click on this audio track and I will scroll down to find the fade in fade out option and I will increase the value of fade in to some extent and I will do the same for fade out. Now we will click on OK and our slideshow is ready. Let's preview how this looks.
If you find this video useful, please hit the like and subscribe button and please share your opinion in the comment section. Thank you so much.